hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are doing my twisted retreat monthly unboxing this is a horror book box that i have been getting since its inception back in um october 2022 i believe this is our february box every single month you do get a book sometimes you get two books which i think this box has and then a lot of kind of like horror and horror adjacent themed kind of self-care goodies and novelty items I love this box, it's really really fun. It is owned by Unplugged, who believes in pairing self-care with literature, and I love that. I know Twisted Retreat has had a lot of delays recently. This box was not delayed. I just didn't get it until March 1st because I was in Toronto when it was delivered to me, and then I had to go and pick it up from the post office because I thought it was gonna be at my apartment when I got home, and it wasn't, and then I had to go to the post office. So that is why this is going up in March and not February, because that is my bad. It is actually not theirs. Uh, even though a lot of times they are too late. This month, they were not. Um, anyways, this box retails every single month for $62. That does include shipping and handling. It is definitely a pricier box, but I do think that it is worth it. You do get custom limited edition versions of the books. You get a lot of really, really cool items in here. Um, they pay a lot of attention to detail, and I just think it's really, really, really fun. Um, and definitely, definitely worth the heftier price tag. All right, let's open it up and see what we have. Now, as you can see, we are back to their usual monthly box, like the one that's actually got their logo on it. Sometimes we don't get those. Um, and we opened it up. Oh, things are falling out. That is what we have. So we have our spoiler card here, and they are doing a new style of spoiler card. I, I liked the newspaper looking one more, but that's fine. I do like that it is an actual printed spoiler card. I didn't like that Unplugged was doing the, um, like, use the QR code thing, so I am happy with that. But let's see what we have first. I think this is Dracula. This looks like a Dracula slipcase. Or, sorry, I mean, like, book protective case, whatever those things are called. Pretty sure that's what this is. Um, and I'm assuming this is, like, Dracula and maybe, like, Mina. I'm not 100% sure. But there you go. I could also be totally wrong. <laughs> um, and then we have whatever this is. Okay, so this looks like a little box. It says, till death do us part. The ring is on my hand and the wreath is on my brow. Uh, satins and jewels grand are all at my command and I am happy now with this little skull here. Um, I don't know what this is. I was thinking it was going to be like a ring box, like where you had like the lined things to put your rings in, but it does look to just be like a velvet container. It's very pretty. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be some kind of jewelry box, but it doesn't feel practical enough to like hold certain types of jewelry, so maybe it's just like a trinket box. Okay, I'm assuming this is our candle. Ooh, it feels very Valentine's Day themed with this bright, bright pink, and it says um, Crimson Peak. Oh, so I guess it is Crimson Peak. There we go. Let's see what it smells like. It smells, I think, like dragon's blood. I don't know. I'm always wrong when I guess the scents. Apparently the scents are now written on the spoiler card, so we will see. But there we go. I do not love this design. I feel like it, it reads a little muddy for being Crimson Peak, but I do love that that is the theme. The scent's really nice, too. Okay, so we get... Carob Bites, which is a strawberry banana carob bar. I don't know what that is. Um, cocoa butter, carob powder. I don't know what that is. Coconut syrup, strawberry, banana. Okay, there we go. There's your little bite. I'm always excited when they're little snacks instead of like drinks because I had um, coffee in a classic for a while, which is obviously like all coffee and tea and hot chocolate. Those were the things you could choose from. But that's also what you always get in your nightworms. So I do love when they do the little treats instead. Let's see, we have Mooney's Bookshop, which I think is the pin. I, well, this is a pin. I think that's the bookshop in you. I'm not like the Netflix show. I'm not sure. It's very cute. I'm sure it will tell me what it is. Yes, it is from you because there down here is where, if you haven't seen it, the, the, the room that he has downstairs. Um, that's really funny. I like that a lot. Okay, so then we have this big thing. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is body oil. Which 
Twisted Retreat Spring, and it's Prosecco, Cranberry, and Secrets. Something tells me that's not the, supposed to be the name of this. It smells amazing. It smells amazing, so there's that. Um, okay, it's got like a, like a Lovecraft moment here. There's like tentacles coming out of the sky and this like kind of like silhouette of a woman, but I don't know what that's from. Okay, so I think that's it for goodies because we do get two books this month. Um, I'm going to grab the one that I saw on the spoiler because they only spoiled one, which I kind of love. And I'm just going to open this up out of its shrink wrap real quick. Okay, so this is In the Roses of Pieria, I think is how you say it, um, by Ann Burke. And it says down here, The Blood File. So I'm assuming this is book one in the series. We get this kind of botanist mushroom floral moment on the cover just kind of a basic end and then we have this which kind of continues that pattern as do the edges here i love that Let's see we're going to open the inside and it does continue on inside the flap and it is the same on both sides but we do get what looks like a reverse dust jacket Then we have this, which I'm assuming is probably the original cover. Very, very similar in tone. And then here we have the actual cover of the hardback. Um, I love this. I think this is beautiful. Um, I almost wish it was just a little bit more metallic, but I really love how it really carries the theme of everything. And we do have the name and the author on both the spine as well as the front cover. And then we have this nice little vine moment on the back, which is a little bit different than everything else, but I do like that. And we appear to have a real signature as well. So they really gave us everything for this. That's great. We do have a real signature. I love when you have that. All right, let's read the inside flap and find out what this book is about. Because I don't know anything about this other than that this was the book. Award-winning author Anne Burke delivers the shivers in this daring queer dark fantasy romance teeming with sensuous vampires, dark academia, plant horrors, and terrifying fungal fae. Sorry, it's written in red on black, so that's really, really hard to read, but the next is all in, uh, like, white lettering. When Clara Eden is offered a job as an archivist, archivist? Archivist, I think? Working for eccentric estate owner Agatha Montague, she thinks her prayers have been answered. Soon, she finds herself sucked into her research world, captivated by romantic correspondence thousands of years old. But as her feelings for her employer's assistant, Fada? I... Mm, F-I-A-D-H, it could also be like Irish, it could, or Gaelic, it'd be like thieve, I don't know. Um, sorry, but as her feelings for her employer's assistant, Fida, deepen, so does her suspicion that something about Agatha Montague isn't right. Unfortunately for Clara, it is far too late to run by the time her suspicions are confirmed. Okay, um, that reminds me of, what's the name of that book? I'm not going to be able to remember it, and I don't have my phone next to me, but it, Such Pretty Flowers, I think that's what it was called, the book set in Savannah. Um, this kind of gives me vibes like that. That book was really interesting. I didn't love it in the end, but it definitely reminds me of this, but maybe with more like vampires and less of like a southern setting. Um, but very interesting. All right, let's grab the second book. Oh, our tarot card. Hold on. I keep forgetting the tarot cards. And this is the Cat and Mouse Duet. And it is The Lovers. I don't know what that is. The only thing I can think of is that it's Tom and Jerry. I don't know, it just says the cat and mouse duet. I don't know, I don't know. I'll figure it out on the spoiler card. Okay, um, so let's open up book two. I'm really excited about book two because it's in this like imitation leather that they've been doing for a couple of their limited editions. And I think it's just so much cooler than the ones with the dust jackets. And that's just my personal preference, but I like, I love this type of presentation. It just feels like old school. So this is Sugarcane by Cassandra Kellia. Um, it says caution, caution, caution. We've got like the caution tape. We've got like hatchet here. Um, and then on the back it says work, eat, sleep, repeat. Interesting. Oh, ooh, it gets gruesome on the inside. It is also signed. Okay. Sorry, my phone was charging. I usually have it right next to me, but not today. So let's see what this is about on Goodreads. What secrets would you keep for the one you love? Dulcie and Kane have been married for years. They're perfect together, unsuspecting and living in their suburban home with friendly neighbors and a satisfying routine. Work, eat, sleep, repeat. Then Dulcie witnesses the murder of a girl in her own home. 
by the hand of her husband. Her next move seems unspeakable. Cover it up and forget it ever happened. And of course, clean up his mess. She couldn't send her husband and the love of her life to jail. The trouble is, Kane doesn't know about the sacrifice she made or the length she continues to go to keep his terrible habit hidden from everyone around them. Dulcie isn't interested in him finding out either. Secrets are dangerous. While he keeps his second life a mystery to her, she keeps her clean-up act hidden from him. Too bad she's now tied up in her basement. Too bad Kane decided that she was next. Ooh, okay, very interesting. And it does have a 4.05 on Goodreads, which is interesting because it sounds like it's going to be more of an extreme horror. Um, like I said, it is signed by the author, but there is a page right after. Ooh, we also have this nice little illustration. Um, that says, caution, by reading past this point, you are recognizing that Sugar Cane is an adult book that features mature and at times triggering themes and material. For a complete list of relevant content warning, please visit my landing page located at the end of this book. We are all in control of our own content consumption. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. So really, really love the style of this book. So let's go through the spoiler card and just see what everything is. So yes, we get the You Inspired Enamel Pin, the Spring Movie Inspired Body Oil. I have not heard of Spring. I don't know what that is. Does anybody else know what that is? Maybe they mean like a spring movie. I don't know. Bite Snack by Better Karab. Okay, I guess it's themed after Dracula, but, which is fine. What is a carob? It's a shrub. Okay. Um, so then the book sleeve is um, Dracula, but it is Lucy with Stendra and Dracula. It is not Mina Harker. My bad. The Bridal Ballad Secret Letterbox. Pay homage to the master of macabre romance, Edgar Allan Poe, with a decor box inspired by his haunting tale, Bridal Ballad. Unbox a collection of eerie delights that embody the gothic allure and tragic beauty of Poe's timeless work. Okay, cool. I haven't read um, Bridal Ballad, and now I will have to. Um, we have Sugar Cane by Cassandra Celia, and we have the Crimson Peak Candle. Let's see, what is the scent? It is vanilla sandalwood and black cherry. Okay. And then we get the Lover's Tarot card, which is the cat and mouse duet which has nothing to do with horror movies. It literally just is a cat and mouse du duet. So I'm just gonna say it's Tom and Jerry. Okay, and then obviously we get the In the Roses of Peria. Um, they both have fully redesigned covers. I do actually like both covers that we got better. And it looks like the inside jacket that we had on the Roses of Peria is also not the original cover. So we do get two completely new covers for that. Um, and then this obviously is like an imitation leather that is also very different from the original, even though they both kind of have like the hatchet. Um, so our March sneak peek. Our theme is ghost stories. Um, it'll be featuring a supernatural thriller published by Cemetery Dance. I always love when we get a Cemetery Dance book. A spring candle with special foil print that they've never done before. Quality useful item inspired by, previous tw by a previously featured Twisted Retreat book. Oh my god, it better be Sallow Bend. It better be Sallow Bend. Um, and then more. So there we go. Um, overall, I'm pretty... Overall, I'm pretty happy with this box. I definitely think I'm going to like this book far more than this book. So I will definitely be reading this first. I also love the design of this one more. Like, the dust jackets are cool, but I really like the imitation leather versus the kind of just, like, traditional hardback book. This could be awesome. I don't know. I don't know what a carob is, but we're going to find out. Tarot card? I, I don't get the theme, but other than that, I mean, it's still the tarot card. I think the pin is very, very funny. Um, I wish I l liked pins more because it's really smart and it's really a funny idea, but I just don't love pins, but that's not their fault. That's my own personal preference. Really like the smell of the candle. Really like the smell of the candle. Um, though it, I, I don't love this design. I felt like they could have done more gothic with Crimson Peak. And I really wish the tarot card had been Crimson Peak and kind of gone together. This is interesting. I do like that it's Poe themed. Um, I might actually honestly put little uh, foam pieces in here and just make this a ring box. I've made ring boxes a bunch before. It's pretty easy to do. But I do love the outer workings of this. And I think the design is beautiful. And I really like the quotes. Um, I love these little book sleeves. I use them all the time. I've got many, 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 many from this company. And they're always fantastic. Um... I don't know what spring movie is. Somebody tell me what this is. Like, I like this idea. I really do like this idea, but it smells so good. Like, it smells so good, but I don't know what the fandom is. Anyway, yeah, really, really pretty happy with this box. Definitely stronger than last month's box. Um, I do really love when they give us the two books. I think that's fantastic, especially because they do tend to lean more towards the, the like, imitation leather 
designs for those. So very, very happy with that. But yeah, uh, that is all that I have for you guys today. As always, I try to post every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on Saturdays. And if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below, and I will catch you on the next one. Mwah.